Good morning, Royals. Today is April 27th, 2023, and, and this, this is the Royal, Royal Rundown. My name is Jack. And I'm Jackson. Now on to our school news. Attention all 9th through 11th graders. The Fisher's Health Department is hosting a free teen public health academy from July 17th to July 22nd, 2023. This is an awesome opportunity to get hands-on experience in the field of public health and network with city officials. Please check out the website below and apply by April 30th. The shoe drive ends on Monday. Clean out your closets, garages, bedrooms, and bring in your old shoes, cleats, sandals, boots, etc. We will have bins in the flag hallway as well as inside door one for you to drop off your shoes for a donation. With the rise of artificial intelligence in our daily lives and services like ChatGPT, we checked out different people's perspectives throughout the school to get their opinion on the matter and how it could influence our lives as students. Let's take a look. Hello HSC, this is Evan Lakeer. Today I'll be talking to you about a fascinating topic in the world of artificial intelligence, ChatGPT. ChatGPT is an advanced language model that has been trained by OpenAI to generate natural language responses to a wide range of inputs. Now let's hear from some students and teachers on their opinions on ChatGPT. When, when the AI chat GPT stuff came out, right, there was kind of a panic. There was kind of a panic among teachers, um, and particularly I think English teachers, right, because it all of a sudden seemed like, oh man, I give this assignment and kids can just put it literally right into that and it produces it right out. And like, it makes me wonder if, if this AI tool can be that for the English world, right, for composition, um, for, for reading, writing, speaking, and listening. I think that it'll make people in at least education, like teachers and stuff, I think they'll be a lot more apprehensive towards technology like that because like people are using it to write essays and stuff like that. So it can be used for a lot of different things, including that. And it could, it could also just take away a lot of the legibility of stuff. I did, so we had an assignment in my debate class and I popped, um, it was a writing assignment, I popped the prompt in, into it just to see, just to see what it would give me, um, see what it did. And, um, and it did it, and you know, I was kinda like, oh my gosh, it did it, and it did it in like two minutes, right? It was pretty quick. And, um, you know, I wouldn't say that it, it was the, the most well-written thing in the world. It didn't have a lot of flair, a lot of personality, or a lot of voice, which is something that, obviously, as English teachers, we value a lot in writing and, and, and for kids to develop their voice. I feel like in the future it might become like teachers would say you're not always going to have a calculator with you. I think it's going to become like something like that. From HSC News, this has been Evan LeCure and Andrew Knotts. What a great segment. Now on to Samantha with our sports news. Hey Royals, I'm Samantha with your sports news. Today, your girls tennis teams both have away matches at Avon at 5.30. Your girls varsity track team has an away match at Noblesville also at 5.30. All three baseball teams have games against Fishers at 6 o'clock. Varsity is away and both JV teams are at home. Both your boys golf teams have matches against Mount Vernon and Lawrence North at 5.30 at the Hawksdale Golf Course. That's it for your sports news. Thank you for helping us keep you informed and up to date with all things HSE.